Hey guys, I got something really special to show you. Um, as you know, I'm a Doctor Who fan. And I don't really have a favorite Doctor. I love them all. What I'm really into is collecting items that were screen used props in the Doctor Who series. And this is the first one I got. It's actually in the episode, The Runaway Bride, where David Tennant uses a sonic screwdriver to create a diversion by going up to an ATM and it just spits out all this money. Well, they actually printed up fake bills with his picture on it. Oop, there he is, right there. I'm, see, I'm looking at it from the back because it's on both sides. But that was the first screen use prop I got and today I got something freaking awesome, okay? Actually, even though I don't have a favorite doctor, my favorite episode has to be Blink with the Weeping Angels. It introduced the Weeping Angels and this was one of the sayings from it, of course. Wibbly wobbly, timely wimey. So I got this from a reputable place on eBay and it's a screen use prop from my favorite episode. Whenever people ask me what Doctor Who is, I always refer them to that. I say, watch this episode first because even though the Doctor's not really in it, the writing is phenomenal. It, it actually is, it's a, an amazing piece of science fiction and it really actually solves the problem of uh, time travel fiction in a really interesting way. Everything makes sense in other words. So I got this and I got it for pretty cheap. Actually, it was only about like 40 bucks, I think. I'm just afraid that it's not gonna be as big as I wanted it. I'm just so excited. Okay, so this is from my favorite episode, Blink. And it came all the way from England. Oh, look, it's already in a frame. And the first thing you have is a certificate of authenticity, which generally doesn't mean much these days unless it's from, you know, a well-known auction house or appraiser. But this one, these people actually do, they have really, really good reviews that, you know, um, they have a good reputation for selling real items. Oh my God, here it is, okay. Now, if you've never seen the episode Blink, you have to watch it. Carrie Mulligan's in it and, you know, she's a great actress and she went on to other things after that, of course. You know, she was in The Great Gatsby and a bunch of other movies and she's phenomenal. Oh, this is gonna go right up on the wall. This is actually a piece of the wallpaper from the episode. Which you're probably saying, well, big deal, it's a hunk of wallpaper. This actually is very important to the story. All right, I'm not going to spoil what happens, but just to say, Carrie Mulligan, she, she plays Sally Sparrow, and she goes into this abandoned house, and she sees, you know, this, this old room, and there's some peeling wallpaper on the wall, and there's some writing on the wall beneath it. And it's obvious that the wallpaper's been up there for at least 100 years, or 80 years, or whatever. And when she peels back the wallpaper, there's a message written to her from somebody 80 years in the past who knew that she would be in that house at that time. So basically the entire story starts with her peeling this wallpaper and getting a message from someone in the past and we don't know who. And there is the wallpaper and there's the weeping angel. And in the background you can see a section of the wallpaper. Um, this is from a scene in the episode where the angel's reaching out to her. If you don't know what a weeping angel is yet, and you're susceptible to nightmares, don't watch it. But if you love horror and sci-fi, you're gonna really wanna watch this episode. I just can't believe it. Should I take it out of the frame? Yeah, that's real wallpaper. Ugh. And it's just a square of it, of course. And they made this real nice display unit. Obviously, I can't show you the episode on the channel. But you can actually go and find it. Even just scenes with the Weeping Angel are available on YouTube. If you're like me, you have the Doctor Who box sets all over. Let me find that episode. Okay, here's the box set. This is the complete third series with Martha as his companion. There she is. There's Carrie. From the Blink episode. And 
Let me see it. You might have seen memes of, of David Tennant going, don't blink, don't even blink. That's where it's from. It was written, of course, by Stephen Moffat, who's a genius. It's the introduction of the Weeping Angels. So it was the very first time they ever appeared. It's series three. And in this, uh, The Runaway Bride, that's where this is from. Like I said, it was episode 11. It's on disc four of this. Episode 11, it's called Blink. It's probably one of the, the most famous David Tennant Doctor Who episodes that there is. Basically, statues come to life when you don't look at them. So if you're not looking at a statue, you never know if it's coming to life. And I know there's all kinds of stuff going on with statues these days in the United States anyway. But way before that, you know, th this is the stuff of nightmares. In fact, it's a pretty popular Halloween costume, a weeping angel. And now I have, I'm the proud owner of an actual piece of the set from my favorite Doctor Who episodes. So, wow. I am just so happy at this because this is, you know, it's only one room. So how many pieces could they have cut up as souvenirs? when you think about it, because this was before people were really, you know, using um, pieces of sets as collectibles or props from TV shows. Yeah, there's Mr. Bean. He's always got a horn in on everything. Yeah, you're a little ham. Mr. Bean just turned one. Oh, you love me? Yeah, look, do not eat that. Look, look, it's a weeping angel. Okay, I just wanted to share this with you because I am super excited and I'm totally nerding out about having this added to the collection. This is going right next to the David Tennant one. All I need now is a Dalek and an actual, hi, a Dalek and one of the sonic screwdrivers and I'd kind of be happy because an actual TARDIS is kind of big for my living room. There you go. Please, please, please check out this episode. You're, you won't be disappointed if you're a sci-fi fan. Anything else to add, Bean? Mr. Bean wants to go for a walk with Toby, so I think I'll have to take these guys for a walk before it starts storming. So, I will see you again next time, and remember, don't blink.